Fish have been labeled as products contaminated with many pollutants, including heavy metals, such as methylmercury, as well as dioxins and polychlorinated biphenyls. This belief that all fish are toxic stands in stark contrast to the generally accepted dietary guidelines, which recommend consuming two to three servings of fish per week and are associated with a wide range of health benefits. It is important to remember that fish are not a homogeneous group and should not be lumped together. It is not true that all fish are exceptionally healthy, implying that they all contain large amounts of beneficial compounds. Nor is it true that all fish are toxic containers swimming in the waters. In this video, I will tell you which fish can bring us the most health benefits and which species do not contain toxins. By saying it, I mean that the level of any pollutants is very low and has no negative effect on our health. If we were to analyze the presence of potentially harmful compounds in detail, I guess we would not be able to identify even one completely clean product among all those available on the market. Unfortunately, all kinds of industrial pollutants enter the air, soil and the water. The key is to make the most informed choices, which is what I am to help you with today. To ensure that each video is recorded with the freshest and most up-to-date knowledge, I have reviewed many materials related to the safety of eating fish and their health benefits for the preparation of this video. Now I will share with you what I have found. I will tell you right away that including some fish in your diet can extend your life and even improve its quality, that is, a life without diseases. But more on that in a moment. The first uncontaminated fish on today's list is the wild Atlantic herring, caught in the Norwegian Sea, Barents Sea and Atlantic Ocean. Unfortunately, Baltic herring is not the best choice if we plan to include it in our diet regularly and in large quantities. Nevertheless, if we are talking about regular fish consumption, the Atlantic herring from the mentioned areas is a much better choice. The latest research results published in 2022 showed that this type of herring contains lower levels of contamination. As an interesting fact, I will mention that every fish product on the shelves should have a label with information about the region where the fish was caught. This is another argument for why it is important to carefully read labels when we buy products. Let's now explain why the mentioned herring is a healthy fish. 100 grams of herring fillet provide 18 grams of valuable protein. I mention this because it contains relatively high amounts of an amino acid called leucine, which stimulates our muscles to grow. This fact is particularly important for older people whose muscle mass and strength decrease with age, a condition known as sarcopenia. Studies have shown that providing large amounts of leucine is a valuable practice when it comes to slowing down muscle loss in older people. It is also worth mentioning that herring provides some iron, 1 mg to be exact. What's more, it is a very good source of selenium, an element often deficient in our diet. Just to remind you, selenium is very important for the proper functioning of our thyroid and is no less important than iodine. In addition, its deficiency is associated with weakened immunity, decreased mental performance, fertility problems and even worsened mood. What is particularly valuable about the mentioned herring is its very high content of vitamin B12, I mean about 13 micrograms. This means that by consuming one standard portion of herring, we can cover the daily requirement for this vitamin by about 500%. In short, eating such a fish will provide us with enough vitamin B12 for the next 4 days. You can learn more about how important vitamin B12 is for our body in a separate material on my channel. Apart from vitamin B12, the second most important ingredient in herring are omega-3 fatty acids in the form of DHA and EPA, the most valuable ones. And about why they are so valuable, I will tell you in the next part of the material. In any case, one portion of fish has about 1.5 grams of DHA and EPA. It is worth considering sardines as well. These are small-sized fish that do not accumulate toxins. They are usually sold as a product immersed in vegetable oil. In my opinion, it is best to choose sardines in olive oil. Alternatively, you can opt for sardines in tomato sauce. Such products contain even more protein than herring. In 100 grams of sardines, there are about 24 grams of this ingredient. In addition, they have more selenium, about 50 micrograms, which means that 100 grams of this fish almost completely covers our demand for this element. 
What distinguishes sardines from many other fish is their high calcium content. In 100 grams of sardines, we have almost 400 milligrams, or about 40% of the daily requirement. Of course, this refers to sardines consumed with bones. Therefore, if any of you do not consume dairy products on a daily basis, sardines can be treated as a good source of this mineral. Unlike herring, sardines contain less vitamin B12, but these are still substantial amounts at around 9 micrograms per 100 grams, which is almost 4 times more than our daily requirement. It is also important to emphasize that sardines also provide omega-3, totaling about 1 gram or 1000 milligrams. I include Atlantic mackerel among the fish that are safe for us. However, I emphasize that it should be Atlantic mackerel. We can also find Spanish mackerel and Kind mackerel on sale, but unfortunately these two species of mackerel accumulate significant amounts of toxic substances. This is especially true of king mackerel, which is known for its high mercury content. Atlantic mackerel is also a good source of protein, with about 18 grams. It also contains 1.5 milligrams of iron and relatively high amounts of selenium, about 40 micrograms. In addition, this fish is very rich in niacin or vitamin B3. I will only add that niacin is a vitamin that helps reduce fatigue, has a positive effect on the functioning of the nervous system and also ensures the maintenance of normal psychological functions, possibly reducing the risk of Alzheimer's disease. As for other vitamins, Atlantic mackerel has a similar content of vitamin B12 to sardines. We have about 9 micrograms of this vitamin. Discussing Atlantic mackerel, we cannot overlook the exceptionally high levels of omega-3. In terms of the content of this beneficial component, mackerel surpasses other fish. Specifically, the omega-3 level in Atlantic mackerel is approximately 2.3 grams or 2,300 milligrams. A healthy and delicious option is also rainbow trout, also known as salmon trout. I should add that it can be farmed trout, but it is best to buy fish from an organic farm with a bio certificate. Rainbow trout has a delicate meat containing high amounts of protein, around 20 grams. It is also an excellent source of potassium, a 100 gram portion of trout contains around 380 milligrams. For comparison, one banana, which is considered a good source of this element, contains similar amounts of potassium. However, when it comes to other key nutrients, rainbow trout differs from the previously mentioned fish. For example, it contains about 4.5 micrograms of vitamin B12, which is twice the daily requirement. As for selenium, there is about 25 micrograms, which is half the amount found in other fish. Rainbow trout has also a lower level of omega-3. There is a total of 0.7 grams or 700 milligrams, but these are still satisfactory amounts. I would like to pause for a moment and make a small request. If you find my videos helpful and would like to help this channel grow, please consider subscribing and if possible also clicking the bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss any valuable videos. Thank you very much and now let's get back to the topic. The list of the 5 healthiest and cleanest fish is topped off by wild Pacific salmon caught in the Alaskan region. This fish contains comparable amounts of protein to the previous few fish at around 22 grams. It is also a good source of potassium and niacin. Additionally, it provides a satisfactory amount of selenium at around 30 micrograms. As for vitamin B12, we have around 4.5 micrograms, meaning that by consuming a 100 gram portion, we cover 200% of our daily requirement. Wild Pacific salmon also stands out for its high content of omega-3. We are talking about a level of 1.2 grams or 1200 milligrams. I must add, however, that Atlantic salmon provides more omega-3 at around 2.5 grams. You may be wondering if it is worth spending more money on wild Pacific salmon than on the cheaper Atlantic salmon. Generally speaking, when it comes to the level of heavy metals, it is similar for both species. However, in terms of other pollutants such as polychlorinated biphenyls, polybrominated diphenyl ethers, dioxins or pesticides, farmed salmon usually contains more of these compounds. But I must emphasize one important thing. Despite these differences, the level of these harmful substances in Atlantic salmon is still low and does not pose a serious health risk. 
In light of this information, if for various reasons, including price or availability, you cannot afford to buy wild Pacific salmon, then in my opinion Atlantic salmon will also be a good option. Believe me, the benefits of consuming it outweigh the health risks associated with the potential presence of harmful substances. At the same time, I will also add that the aforementioned fish is one of the best sources of dietary iodine and vitamin D. Of course, it is hard to ignore the fact that overfishing of wild salmon contributes to the depletion of this fish, so maybe it is better to focus mainly on the four fish species I described earlier. But this is a topic for another video in the future. I would now like to explain why it is beneficial to have fish in your diet. I should also note that to take advantage of their beneficial properties, it is optimal to consume two to three servings of fish per week. It is best to have fresh fillets, although occasionally canned fish such as herring or fish in oil, such as sardines, will also be a good option. Talking about the health benefits of fish, I will start on a high note, as researchers have found that eating fish is one of the factors that can potentially extend your life. This is mainly due to the omega-3 fatty acids present in them. Indeed, in large-scale studies, experts have observed that a high concentration of omega-3 in the blood of seniors contributed to an increase in the expected lifespan of almost 5 years. The authors of the study I am referring to wrote that dietary choices that affect omega-3 levels may prolong life. Furthermore, in the scientific literature we can find many high-quality research results that prove that consuming fish reduces mortality. For example, one of the latest meta-analyses from 2020 shows that people who consume fish regularly have a 15% lower risk of premature death due to coronary heart disease. When it comes to the risk of premature death from cardiovascular diseases in general, other data indicate that it is even 25% lower. When it comes to overall mortality due to other illnesses, it is on average 6% lower when compared to people who do not consume fish. All of this data clearly emphasizes that eating fish, particularly the ones mentioned, makes our lives longer compared to those who avoid these products. Of course, someone might immediately comment that their friend who didn't eat fish lived longer than another friend who consumed fish in large amounts. Please be aware that fish does not make us immortal. If someone, for example, eats fish but leads an unhealthy lifestyle overall, such as smoking cigarettes and being physically inactive, it does not mean they will live longer than someone who leads a healthy lifestyle but does not eat fish. In any case, it is highly likely that such a person would live even shorter if these products were absent from their diet. It is worth knowing that not only does eating fish prolong our life, but it also protects against the development of many modern diseases. For example, including them in your diet is a good way to protect yourself from dementia in the future. Scientists have noticed that regular consumption of fish reduces the risk of dementia by as much as 17%. We owe this action mainly to the presence of omega-3, as these compounds have anti-inflammatory properties, protect nerve cells from damage, and support the transmission of nerve impulses between neurons. When it comes to dementia, I would also add that providing omega-3 in the form of the mentioned fish contributes to improving memory. Such an effect has been observed in both younger and older people. This means that it is never too late to eat fish and they can bring noticeable benefits even when one is in the autumn of life. Fish are also great allies of our circulatory system. For the purposes of this video, I have come across extensive research that has proven that consuming fish is associated with a 14% lower risk of stroke, 12% lower risk of coronary heart disease, 20% lower risk of heart failure, and even 25% lower risk of heart attack. Such protective action of fish is due, among other things, to the compounds present in them, which inhibit the formation of atherosclerosis, reduce blood pressure and reduce triglyceride levels. The wealth of nutrients present in fish makes them also have anti-cancer properties. In scientific literature, we can find many evidences that regularly eating fish can to some extent protect us from cancer diseases. Researchers have noted a lower risk of developing multiple myeloma, colorectal cancer, liver, lung and oral cavity, in some cases even by around 25%. At the beginning, I mentioned that as we age, our muscles become weaker, including a decrease in their mass, which is known as sarcopenia. And as the literature shows, consuming fish can be beneficial in this case as well. 
I came across the results of a 2021 study that showed that including fish in one's diet is associated with an improvement in muscle mass and function, and more importantly, that this practice can slow down the progression of sarcopenia in middle-aged and older people. In addition to an increase in muscle mass, the tested individuals also showed an increase in hand grip strength and walking speed, further confirming the beneficial effect of fish on the musculoskeletal system among seniors. The health benefits of eating fish include their positive effect on our eyes. More precisely, scientists have confirmed that eating fatty fish at least once a week, such as those I mentioned earlier, is associated with a lower risk of age-related macular degeneration. Therefore, including fish in your daily diet can partially protect you from the adverse changes in the eye that unfortunately progress with age. As you can see, fish is an exceptionally valuable component of our diet. As I mentioned before, I recommend eating it two to three times a week. It is best to provide some variety, meaning not focusing on one type of fish all the time, but reaching for different kinds, including, of course, especially those I presented to you today. When it comes to preparing fish, steaming and short-term baking are the best options. I would add that these processing methods won't cause valuable omega-3 to completely evaporate from the fish. Of course, there will be some loss, but they will still be a good source of this component. Additionally, from time to time, you can also reach for fish in vinegar or oil. Cold smoke fish will also be a good choice occasionally. By the way, I have one more tip when it comes to choosing specific fish. Even though the fish species I presented are safe in terms of pollution, if we want to further minimize the risk of exposure to toxic compounds, it is best to choose smaller fish. The smaller and younger the fish, the fewer of these substances it has accumulated. I hope that with this video I have managed to dispel the rather harmful myth that all fish are toxic and that eating them will supposedly cause more problems than benefits. I must admit that I personally eat fish regularly, with my favorites being herring. I am also curious to know if any of the mentioned fish appear on your plates. Please share this information in the comments section under the video. I also invite you to watch the video in which I discuss garlic, which is a perfect flavor enhancer for fish. To watch the video, simply click on the thumbnail that appears on the screen. And that's all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.